Royal Navy has revealed details of its intention to fit its two aircraft carriers with assisted launch systems and recovery gear, enabling operations by a variety of fixed-wing uncrewed aircraft and, potentially, also conventional takeoff and landing crewed types. Ambitious in its scope, it's unclear exactly how much of the program will be fiscally feasible. Currently, the Royal Navy's Queen Elizabeth class carriers are able to operate short takeoff and vertical landing Stovall, F-35B stealth jets, as well as helicopters. There have been previous indications that the service wants to at least explore adding different drones to its future carrier air wing. The Royal Navy has now also decided that it will kick off this project with tests of the General Atomics Mojave Short Takeoff and Landing STOL, drone on one of its two carriers later this year. The latest Royal Navy carrier developments were announced by the Colonel Phil Kelly, the service's head of carrier strike and maritime aviation, at the recent Combined Naval Event 2023 conference, and was reported by Naval News. Colonel Kelly confirmed that, under the Future Maritime Aviation Force FMAF, initiative, the Royal Navy is planning to retrofit arrestor gear and assisted launch equipment on its carriers. As currently equipped, the Queen Elizabeth-class warships have ski-jump takeoff ramps for their Stovall F-35BS. An earlier idea of installing catapults and arrestor gear during the two carriers' construction and procuring F-35C variants to equip them was turned down on cost grounds, after which the two Stovall-configured carriers were finished and put into service. The new FMOF plan includes Project Ark Royal, which Colonel Kelly explained as follows. We are looking to move from Stovall to Stowell, short takeoff and landing, then to Stobar, short takeoff but arrested recovery, and then to Catabar, catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery. We are looking at a demonstrable progression that spreads out the financial cost and incrementally improves capability. In this way, Project Ark Royal, named after the Royal Navy's last aircraft carrier that was capable of Catabar operations, should see the Queen Elizabeth class vessels start to operate drones able to undertake a variety of missions and then increasingly heavier, complex, and higher performance ones. Later on, full Catabar capability could also add fixed-wing crewed aircraft, too.